Hi guys, it's time for another holiday palette review and this one is on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit palette that a lot of people have been talking about on social media. Not necessarily for the greatest reasons and I'm going to get into why. This is what the palette looks like. It's very similar to the Hourglass Blush palette that came out last year. And then in here you get six powders. You have two blushes, a bronzer, and three ambient lighting powders. The first one up here is Dim Light. It's a very popular ambient lighting powder and I do have it in the full size. The middle one is exclusive to this palette and it's called Iridescent Light. And then down here is my favorite powder of all time which I also have in the full size and I have hit dramatic pan on mine and it is called Diffused Light which is a very pale yellow. And up here is Mood Exposure which is a blush. Middle is called Luminous Flush, also a blush. And then down here is the Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. This is an $80 palette, which sounds pretty expensive, but just to give you some reference, one full size is $45. So just overall, Hourglass powders are on the expensive side. They are high-end. They are a luxury product. I would not consider this to be a must-have. I think it's more of a, if you have the money or if you want to treat yourself, then go for it because I do love the powders that I own. So going back to this palette, it is from Sephora or at least I ordered it off the Sephora website and it is limited edition. So here's the kicker and this is the part that a lot of people are upset about. One of these, so just this right here, is 0.049 ounces. And when you compare that to a full size powder like this one right here, this is the full size diffuse light, this one is 0.35 ounces. So if you multiply 0.049 times 6, it is still less than the 0.35 that you get in one full size. So when I first saw this on Instagram, I thought it was gorgeous and I thought I had to have it. And then I saw it on the Sephora website and then I was like, yes, I am totally getting this and I ordered it. And while it was on its way here is when I figured out how tiny this thing is. So I was silly enough to order without really looking at the size and that is my own fault. And that's why I wanted to at least make a video and let you guys know about the size. And I also did get a request on Instagram to do a video on this real quick and that's why I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what this looks like. So I own four out of the six shades in the palette and that sounds pretty crazy. It's like, girl, why would you even order the palette if you already have four of them? But I'm gonna show you and if you watch my videos regularly, you will know that I have hit major pan on diffuse light. That's how much I love it and that's why I thought, well, if I'm going to be repurchasing these powders anyway because I can hit pan on these for sure, then maybe I can just try out the palette, I can take it with me while I'm traveling, so on and so forth. But the more I look at this palette and how beautiful it is and when I compare it to the full size right here, it just looks so small. And the fact that there's less product in this whole palette than you get in here and it's almost twice the amount, a little less than twice the amount um, in terms of dollars, it just makes me think that it's better to just go out and get the full size, get the full sizes of the ones that you want. But one of you did bring up a great point on my Instagram when I posted a photo of this. You mentioned that one of these is the same size as the new travel size version of Dim Light that Sephora has on its website. So one of these right here I believe is $22. So when you multiply $22 by 6, then it is a lot more than $80. So with that being said, I still think $22 for that travel size version of Dim Light is not worth it. Can you imagine getting that travel size version and it's this tiny, you're just getting one of these. I don't think it's worth it at all. I think it's better to just go out and get the $45 full size version, especially if you use your powders every day like I do, and I use diffused light every day, you will hit pan on it, trust me. This is me hitting pan on it after using it every single day. It is possible, so it's not like you're going to have this palette forever, you're never going to hit pan, you definitely can hit pan. Another thing I want to compare it to is the Trio that they have. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder Palette, and this is the Trio that came out last year as well, and it has Dim Light, this is Incandescent Light, which is exclusive to this palette, and this is radiant light which is a little bit more of a bronzy color and in case you're wondering this palette right here is $58 so it's $12 more than just one individual full size powder and you get 0.348 ounces of product so one full size is 0.35 and then this right here is 0.348 so it's very very close to a full size amount but you get three different powders to try so look at how each of these is smaller than the full size okay 
Then I'm going to take this and put it next to that and that's how much bigger this is next to that. So I know this is only a dream and it's probably never going to happen but ideally this is the palette I would have loved to see and it would look like this. This is the blush trio down here that came out last year and this is the powder trio. If it was this big and it was $80. I think people would be all over it. It would be such an amazing deal. It'd be out of stock all the time. This is my dream palette, and this is what they actually ended up giving us. So it's very tiny. I know, you know, this may sound like a little extravagant, but I just think this one is way too small. So that's just my opinion. And aside from that, if you still think that it's worth it to be able to try six different powders, and maybe you've never tried Hourglass before and you find this to be the only way to get your hands on all six without having to spend a lot of money on all the full size ones, then maybe this is right for you. And it might be a great gift. So if you're looking to spend the money and try Hourglass, I, in the end, would recommend these right here. You can just take both of these when you're traveling and I think it's a really great deal. It's of course going to be expensive in the end when you combine these together, but that's when you start putting things on your Christmas list. So in the end, I have a feeling I'm just gonna return this and I will still show you a quick demo on what the powders look like on my face using my own powders since I already own four out of the six, but I'll be using three today. One blush, the diffused light, and dim light. The first shade I'll use is diffused light. It's my favorite. It's a pale yellow, and I'm using an e.l.f. small tapered brush and putting this right underneath my eyes, and this helps brighten up that area. Even if I don't take a concealer all the way down here every day, I still like to bring the powder down here to really brighten up that triangle. And it's not a really dramatic brightness where it looks very obvious that I have something underneath my eyes, but it gives me that extra perkiness that I need in the morning. And I also like to put this right in the middle of my forehead and then bring it down. This will help balance everything out. The next powder I'm incorporating is Dim Light. And with this one, I like to start my contouring process. There are two ways I like to use this actually. One way is to just put this in the hollows of my cheeks and not go in with another contouring powder or I will use this right before my contouring powder if I wanted to, to give it more of a diffused look. Today, for the purpose of this video, I am only gonna put this in the hollows of my cheeks so you can see what it does to my skin. And then of course, with other skin tones, it may be great as an all-over setting powder, which I did use at some point when I was not as fair as I am now. But today, I am taking an e.l.f. angled blush brush and putting this right in here. And then I will also sweep it up top to give my face a little bit more dimension. And like any other contouring powder that I use, I will bring it down my neck. And for blush, it is officially fall, so I'd like to use Mood Exposure, which is a plum, yet it's still very neutral. And then I just blend it out like usual with the Real Techniques blush brush. So that's it for the demo. I love these powders overall. So again, if the $80 does not bother you and you want to try six different powders, then go ahead and get the palette. But if you are interested in a better deal, getting more for your buck, then I would recommend either the trios or just going out and getting a full size. If you have any other questions about these powders, let me know in a comment below. And that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye!